Welcome to the SCP Foundation. I am 05-4, and today you are being briefed on SCP-031. Let's go ahead and begin. Item number, SCP-031. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-031 is to be contained in a standard containment chamber located in Site-77 Safe SCP Wing. Uh, humanoid used to be added to that, but it has been removed. Personnel interacting with SCP-031 are not to view it directly and communicate with test subjects through an intercom system installed in each chamber. The containment chamber is to be cleaned once per week by custodial staff wearing opaque goggles to mitigate SCP-031's effect. Description: SCP-031 is an amorphous organism with a mass of 75 kilograms. SCP-031 is able to move at a pace of 3 kilometers per hour, and leaves a trail of oil when it moves. It is only capable of rudimentary physical movement. Testing of recovered tissue samples has shown that SCP-031 is at least partially composed of human muscle and epidermal tissue. SCP-031 is capable of reproducing human speech in any pitch or tone, although it is not currently known how SCP-031's biology produces them. Subjects directly perceiving SCP-031 will see it as an individual the subjects knew and had a romantic attraction to at some point in their past. When made aware that it is being observed, SCP-031 will claim to be this person and that they have been left destitute by some event in their past. SCP-031 will use this to attempt to persuade the subject to allow it to stay with them for an extended period of time until it is able to return to a stable situation. This effect applies to all persons who view SCP-031, and research has not determined an upper limit to the number of persons who can be affected by SCP-031 at the same time. After inspecting the residence, SCP-031 may attempt to start a romantic relationship with the subject, and if successful, it will begin living in their home. Several cases have been documented where SCP-031 began to actively affect more than one subject at a time, eventually having a nest between at least 18 different hotel rooms containing subjects with some form of relation to SCP-031. SCP-031 was recovered following contradictory police reports taken after a riot in Redacted. Multiple subjects reported wildly contradictory views about SCP-031's appearance, and initial civilian units were also affected. However, wide distribution of amnestics and inhaled tranquilizers pacified all affected subjects, and NTF Psi-7 was able to recover SCP-031 from the condemned hotel it had taken residence in. As of November 16, 1958, SCP-031 has been classified as safe. Addendum. Research has determined that aromantic subjects are not affected by SCP-031. However, all of these subjects will report SCP-031 as being a small, plump, humanoid figure with specific features being obscured by dark smoke emanating around the entity in the shape of SCP-031's body. Further testing is required to explain this phenomenon. Further testing has shown that the perception of subjects affected by SCP-1937 is similarly affected. And that concludes your briefing on SCP-031. Even for an anomaly, this one is kind of weird. However, we have confidence in your capabilities as a researcher, and we know you'll do well on this assignment. Remember, we secure, contain, and protect. We die in the dark so that they can live in the light. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, uh, subscribe, and ring the bell if you'd like to see more. If you didn't enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a comment as to why. Uh, please try to keep your comments uh, constructive if you can. And well, thank you so much. Have a good rest of your whatever.